lesson in our history learning series from Namcom. Lesson 5 for NSCCO History Grade 12 Learner is about the Sharperville killings in South Africa's apartheid era. After watching this video, we hope that you will be able to list the factors leading to the Sharperville killings and that you will be able to discuss the impact of apartheid on the people of South Africa with a reference to past laws. Let us begin. We do not know how much time we will have. This is a meeting with the future of South Africa and the rest of the world history depends. Ah, uh, sorry. Can you give me clarity here? Is this a meeting? Yes, comrade. Were you not informed about the meeting? Nelson? <laughs> Nelson Mandela. You are Nelson Mandela. The Nelson Mandela. Uh, yes, Winnie dear. It is a meeting. I'm sorry, Winnie dear. I had to pretend that I'm taking you to the movies. It is because the security forces are following 24-7. I will take you to a real one one day. Okay? I just waste my lipstick. And these expensive shoes on you. I hate living in the apartheid era. This is so not right. Ah, please, not the two of you fighting again. Let's get down to business. All right. You guys may not Robert Sobo yet. He used to be with our party. Now he's the leader of the PAC, the Pan African Congress. Okay, colleagues, let's cut to the chase and get down to business. We arranged this meeting with Robert to see if we can move the date forward of our demonstration against this disgusting pass law system. We want to make it 10 days earlier. As you know, the demonstration action against the pass laws was supposed to start on the 31st of March. But you want to start the process earlier. That's fine with us in the PAC. We just want to make sure it happens. We are tired of your peaceful methods. The government will not stop their brutality. But still, you continue with your bureaucracy methods. Yes, boss. Sorry, boss. But the boss, boss. Robert, calm down. We are children of God. Let's try one more last time. Peaceful. Good. But this is the last one. If this one fails, it will be eye for an eye. We must arrange our people to march peacefully together to the Sharpville police station. We will march on the morning of the 21st of March. Then our comrades will join us from the Cape province at Lanka. Make sure everybody takes their passes with them. What if they arrest us or shoot at us? Sister, all of us here are tired of those smelly, disgusting pass laws. If we don't take the risk of doing something about it about now, we might never be able to stop it. I can't agree more with you, my brother. My question remains. What if the police arrest us or beat us? My dear wife, if they respond violently, we will retreat. My journalist friend will be there to take pictures and will leak it to the world press. So this time, these passes is up. <laughs> What's with you, sister? <laughs> I'm just remembering a joke I heard. <laughs> yeah? My cousin, Kat Leaho, played rugby in the street. Huh? With a few white boys. Yeah? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> they were passing the ball to him. 
and waiting for his turn to pass the ball. Yeah. <laughs> the guy next to him shouted, pass! He got so scared, he threw the ball on the ground and he took his pass out. <laughs> <coughs> That's why most black men don't play rugby. <laughs> because they misunderstood the word pass. <laughs> I prefer soccer ball anyway. <laughs> Can we please focus now, people? And stop with this nonsense. Do we all agree that all our comrades will march together in a group up to the Sharpville police station with our passes and we'll throw them on the police ground? And they will set them on fire. Mantla, away to Mantla, away to. Viewers, the Sharpeville killings followed a period of intense unhappiness among South Africa's indigenous people because they had to carry passes as though they were foreigners who needed permission to move around in South Africa. But it was not meant to be a day of bloodshed. Soon after the meeting that we saw dramatized in the earlier scene, Pan African their non-violent campaign to reverse apartheid. Mangaliso Sobukwe made his intention clear in a letter to the South African Commissioner of Police.
Three, two, one, yeah.